So welcome to arcade.miko.com. Today we're going to be making a simple maze game as an introduction to this awesome uh, game developer tool. Uh, so once you're on arcade.miko.com, we're going to click on New Projects, and here we're going to name it Maze. Once we're done, it's going to look something like this. Um, you're going to have a guy who's going to walk around a map, and who's going to need to solve a puzzle. No, sorry, not a puzzle. Get to the end of the maze, I should say. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to look like at the end here. Uh, the code for this is pretty simple. You can kind of see the code on the right-hand side, and then you can kind of see it on the emulator, what shows up as a game. I'll go in and I'll explain this in a second. So to start, what we need to do is we need to create kind of like a map. You know, what does our area look like? What are the kind of, you know, um, area elements that our character is going to, you know, interact with or not interact with? Like, what are they going to hit? What walls are they going to hit? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to scene and we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to set tile map to tile map blank. Okay, if we click on this, you'll see that you know we have this big grid and we can actually just easily just draw in you know trees if we wanted to um, you know a tile map makes it very easy to uh, design a two-dimensional game because ultimately these tiles you can place anything you want to on top of them uh, for now we're going to leave this tile map blank the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a character so let's go over to sprites a sprite is another word for a character. And we're going to drag it right underneath the set tile map too. Here you could probably already select who's your character. So in this case here, I'm going to go into, um, so I'll just repeat that, sorry. I'm going to click this, this blank picture, set the sprite to. And I'm headed over to gallery. And I'm going to set something simple that, uh, you know, something that can move around. Okay, well, there you go. I have a little, you know, dog. Okay, I'm going to use that. There you go. If you want to customize it, you could even, you know, draw on it if you wanted to. There you go. Okay, so I have, here's my sprite. It's going to be a dog. Okay, we have it right here, right in our middle. Well, you're going to want to set your sprite to, you know, start on the uh, top left of your map. So just right here on that game, the top left of the map we're going to get our character to start there. So the next thing we need to do is place them. So we're going to go back to the scene and we're going to scroll down and we're going to say place my sprite on top of tile map column zero row zero. In arcade.make code, these are your zero zero coordinates. Your columns get bigger as you move to the right and your rows get bigger as you move down. So right now we're on zero, zero. The next one would be one uh, row, one column zero and so forth. So as you move down, the rows get bigger. And as you move to the right, the columns get bigger. In this case here, we're at column zero, row zero. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to add some controls. So under controller, I'm going to say move my sprite with buttons. And now if you go, you can actually start moving your character, but you could move them off the screen. So that's no fun. The next thing we need to do is under scene, we're going to grab camera follows my sprite. What this does is as I move along, my camera is always going to follow my character, just like in here. So as I move down, my camera of my game follows my character. All right, so let's go and create our map. The first things we're gonna do is we're going to set, oh, did I not set the map yet to 24 by 24? Let's go do that. 24 by 24 and click on done. Okay, 24 by 24, perfect. 
Okay, so we need to have, um, you know, a starting location and an end location. Let's do top left and bottom right. You can change that if you want to. Um, if you are under, um, I think it's under dungeon actually. So you get different kind of blocks that you that are pre-made, but you can go and make your own tiles if you want. Uh, in this case here, I'm going to go over to Dungeon, and I'm going to grab a tillable teleporter here. Okay, so I have a teleporter at the start, and I want to put a teleporter at the bottom right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, like, it's going to look exactly the same as the teleporter, but it's maybe going to look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Make My Own Custom Tile. Once I've, you know, gone and clicked on that plus button, on the top, I'm going to click on Gallery. And I'm going to go find the teleporter that I just used right here. And I'm just going to make a red teleporter. Perfect. And now, now that I've selected this teleporter, I'm going to place it at the end. So now I have a purple teleporter to start, and then I have a red teleporter to end. Okay, next thing, I'm going to paint my entire tile map a certain way. So I'm gonna go back to forest here. I'm gonna select the blank road one, and I'm just gonna paint my entire board that basic color. That means that there's always going to be something there. We can paint on top. We can we can replace it with something else, but we're always going to have at the start at least a road to build on. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to select my trees and I'm going to start to build a maze. Oh. So I'm going to click on the paint tool. I'm going to keep this one pretty simple, just so I don't want to bore you with, you know, too long of explanations. Uh, your tile map will obviously take a little longer to make. You want to build a um, a maze, so you want your the the person who's going to be navigating this game to get lost. Okay. Make it a little harder here. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Give them a little end. We'll make them think that they possibly have a way out. There you go. The real way was to the left. Okay. So just drawing in all the trees. Uh, leading in this character to try to solve the maze. Let's give him a dead end. There you go. Okay. That works. And then maybe we'll Make this a little more tricky. Uh, they have to go around right here. There you go. So now that I've kind of drawn my maze, um, what I want to do is I need to tell my game where the walls are. Actually, let's just paint in, you know, the rest here. So this whole area, let's just make it all trees. There you go, just like that. So I clicked on the paint tool and I just painted everything in. All right, perfect. So I've kind of drawn in my tile map. Uh, there's trees everywhere. I have my starting location and I have my end location. Okay, so my guy's at the top left and if you go play the game, you can see I can go right through the trees. That's not what we want. We, what we want to happen is when we, you know, go to hit the trees, we want 
the character to stop. So if we go back to the tile map, what we need to do is we need to select the wall, um, the draw walls button. And again, you can select the paint bucket. And if you, you can just paint in where character is not allowed to go. So I just painted in all the spots that a character is not allowed to walk. And now you can see if I go play my game that my character cannot go where the trees are. Now that's what we kind of want to see. Okay. That's awesome. All right. So let's go. And now we need to make it so if I get to the end, then you win the game. So what we need to do is we say, we go to scene and we're going to say, if we go under our red teleporter, then end the game. So on sprite of kind player overlaps with mm, at location. Okay. So what this says is if our sprite hits a, and we're going to select the tile button here, red teleporter, then game win. So if I get to the red teleporter, I win the game. Okay, let's try it out. I already know the, the, the track here. And there you go. So I, I, you know, I did the maze, I solved the maze and um, that was it. This is again, that's all the code that you need for this functional game is I made a tile map. I created a character. I placed my character at the starting point that I want to. You can make them start somewhere else if you want. Make a move with your buttons and then have your camera follow him. And if he gets to the end tile, then win the game. And that's it. Once you're done, you can you know save it into your account or publish it, get a link and attach it into your Google Classroom. Hope you enjoyed that. Excited to see the mazes that you guys create.